to this week's legislative report. The 108th Legislature, first session, adjourned sine die on June 1st, which is two legislative days earlier than scheduled. The early adjournment date means that bills without a specific effective date will become operative on September 2nd. This session will be remembered for filibusters and Christmas trees. Less than 60 bills were actually passed, but nearly 150 more were incorporated into those bills and adopted. Bills that were not passed or killed will carry over to 2024. Tax cuts, school funding reform, voter ID, concealed carry, abortion, and health care for transgender youth were some of the major issues tackled by the body during this session. This week, the legislature considered motions to override Governor Pillen's line item vetoes in two budget bills. A motion to reinstate over a million dollars in funding for the state auditor's office was successful. A motion to provide funding for the Supreme Court to assume the duties of ex officio clerks of the district court was not successful. Among the bills passed on the final day of the session were LB 514, which is a measure to implement the photo ID requirements for voters that was approved in November, and LB 50, which is a criminal justice reform bill. The bill contains many of the proposals suggested by a study two years ago as part of an effort to reduce prison overcrowding. These include expanded problem-solving courts and a probation pilot program. Much of the debate centered on habitual criminal enhancements and mandatory minimum sentences. Governor Pillen signed his tax relief bills with components on property tax, income tax, and school funding. He also signed measures to create the Nebraska Broadband Office within the Department of Transportation and to extend funding for scrap tire recycling grants. If you have ideas for legislation for next year, please contact the NACO office or your district or affiliate representative. The NACO Legislative Workshop will be on October 12th in West Point.